great uh, honour to announce our third best and fairest winner of the 2021 season. And if you could please join us on the stage while you have a little highlights package, Lauren Pierce. <laughs> With, uh, with Loz. Um, an amazing season for Loz. It's, uh, a lot of her teammates will know how hard she's worked behind the scenes. Had an injury interrupted last season. She's put a lot of time in strengthening her knees, um, building her overall strength. Um, is a key figure on the field for us. She drives our midfield, she gives them first access. Um, she spent countless hours in a game ready machine of recent times. Um, I'm sure we'll be very grateful for the support of people to my left. Um, but yeah, the girls stand taller when Loz is out there, and she wouldn't be standing up here if you didn't put as many hours into it as you had. So we're very proud of you for how hard you've worked, and very appreciative for what you've done. So well done. Lauren, a huge congratulations to you. you must be wrapped. Expected, but thanks. Oh, very humble. We really started the ruck this year. Um, some have said it was actually like having another midfielder out there, averaging 14 disposals a game. How did you see your game? Um, I think I was probably given a bit of a license to see what get ball. And um, for me, like over the last couple of years, I've been just developing my game outside of that, you know, just tapping and stuff. And, when, when I see the ball, I, I want it. <laughs> I don't want to give it to anyone else, so that's probably my motto. It's a good attitude. And, and going back to 2019, so I know you missed many of the games last year, how did this year compare to that one? Uh, I think a bit more consistency, and obviously, as we said, without the help of the SEC support staff and medical staff, I definitely would not be out on the track. I know current sessions with Sammy, um, They've all played a big part in me being able to get out there and, as I said, I wouldn't be out there without all their help. Well, I know you struggled with injury last year and I was just chatting to one of your physios, Jordan, down there, and she said that you are just the hardest, most determined worker throughout COVID. Do you think that made the difference, just that extra effort you put in? Uh, probably, but it, I think it also helped. There are a few girls also in rehab and we were able to sort of get through it together and have conversations about it. And I think just the determination to be able to get out there on the track with the girls, especially for pre-season, and to be able to get as many training sessions in as possible. And, you know, everyone would say I probably wasn't on the track so much for trainings, but, uh, you know, to try and get more consistent in that was definitely a key for me coming into pre-season. How much do you love running alongside this group of girls? Absolutely love it. I've said to Nick um, this year, I was like, I've absolutely enjoyed my season. and. I probably, I, I think just being close to the girls this year and as a team, as a whole, I think we've sort of bonded. Um, so I think this year was probably a special year for me and I've really enjoyed the whole year. We well, were definitely one of the unlucky ones to miss out on the All Australian team. Oh. We'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <a> win, <laughs> but noted. Um, do you think that gives you a lot of confidence though? You did make the squad going into next year. Does it give you confidence? For your game for next year, or were you just dirty on the selectors? Dirty <laughs> <laughs> um, No, like for those things, you know, it could go either way. Um, I just know that the club appreciates me, my teammates appreciate me, and they've definitely told me that, and I know I appreciate them as much, so, you know, who cares about those outside noises? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Um, my family on over there, mum, dad, my brother and his girlfriend, always supportive, always messaging me saying how well I've done or potentially giving me a little bit of feedback as well. <laughs> Boyfriend Tom. <laughs> he, he's similar, like he's, he's more realistic for me, and, which I love because <laughs> I need to work on it because he probably knows the game a little bit better than what my parents do. I really appreciate, I really appreciate that support. Um, as, as much as that is also very supportive of what I do, not just footy, but in life in general. And I suppose all the, all the people at Melbourne, Nick, glad you're back. Um, and the medical staff and 
as the sea staff, I already said that earlier, but definitely wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. And I know they've put a lot of time in, and I know Shane, a few of the girls have said that as well. So, yeah, go <laughs> now. Thank you.